Hello everyone, welcome to Everyday Affairs, where we bring you all trending news and information on things happening around the world. I appreciate every one of you who has subscribed to this channel. However, if you're yet to subscribe, kindly click on the subscribe button on the right hand side of your screen, written in red, subscribe, and also hit the bell icon by its side so that you can get notification whenever a new story is published. Thank you and stay tuned. Top APC Chieftain picks presidential candidate for 2023. A chieftain of the All Progressive Congress, APC in Oyo State, Asiwajiro Timi Ajanoku, Sunday disclosed that the party national leader and former governor of Lagos State, Asiwajibola Ahmed Tinubu, is a key factor in the actualization of the Southwest presidential agenda in the 2023 general elections. According to Asiwaju Ajanoku, in a statement he personally signed in Ibadan and made available by his media aide, Prince Adebowale Adeoye, the APC national leader is the arrowhead of Yoruba presidential aspiration. The APC chieftain said, Asiwaju Tinubu stands out as an indispensable catalyst to the actualization of Yoruba agenda in 2023 and beyond. As Asiwaju Odudua, Odudua Youth Leader, it becomes imperative that I speak on issues affecting Southwest states and Odudua agenda ahead of the 2023, as well as unwarranted discussion on Tinubu's presidential ambition. Subsequent attacks on his person by some uninformed people and those planted by antagonists to draw the progress and advancement of Southwest region backward, he said. We are going through we are going through in the states. Can anyone tell me the essence of teaming up against Tinubu when no one has actually established any of the baseless allegations raised by his accusers? Having cold bloodedness against Tinubu, especially now when Yoruba ought to work together in realization of its projection in twenty twenty three, is unwarranted and against the spirit of our ancestors. Should we allow few politicians to deprive Yorubas of our rights just because of differences or rancor between them and Tinubu? How sure are we that it is not a case of rivalry or jealousy? I am not against the idea of criticizing Tinubu, but there is need to make whatever criticism they like to engage in to be constructive. We shouldn't tolerate baseless and, and damaging criticism at this time. Whether we say Yoruba agenda or Yoruba nation, speaking on political issues in Nigeria today, Tinubu is a generalissimo in the south Southwest. So a personality who is that relevant should be protected from political termites. According to him, some Tinubu's accusers are not legitimate Oduduans but are planted to destroy Odudua's structure. Adding these were envious of his achievements and his political strengths. Bola Ahmed Tinubu is a political philosopher. He knows what he wants, he how to get it. He picks best brain from every family or community in Yoruba land and beyond, put them on cue for grooming, uses his machinery to get them to enviable positions in Nigeria. He believes it's a cycle that must continue to go round. But unfortunately, after assuming exalted positions, some of the so-called his boys or political sons believed they have what it takes to tackle him in order to plant their successor. The idea is to break the cycle and deprive some families that are on the queue rights to benefit from the cycle of progress. On the need for traditional rulers, especially in the Southwest, to be neutral in Nigerian politics. Asiwaju Ajanoku said, as custodians of culture, moral values, and belief, Yoruba Obas should be upright in protection and defense and promotion of Odudua territory and inhabitants, he says. All right, viewers and listeners, if you listen carefully to the news, you just understand that this is a slave talking. Um, someone who has decided to be a slave to another man talking. 
I'm not of the opinion or I'm not of the philosophy that um, one cannot have a mentor or one cannot believe in somebody and decide to walk or protect the person or walk in, the, in, in line with the person. But if you listen carefully to what this Ajanoku of a person said, you would know that uh, he has selfish ambitions. You know that he is um, somebody that is ready to be used. You know that he's somebody also that um, has an agenda and uh, has a selfish interest. Because for him to be projecting um, Bola Ahmed Tinubu and singing the praises of Bola Ahmed Tinubu because he wants him to be the president definitely shows that he has an agenda. Knowing that when Bola, if Bola Ahmed, uh, if Bola Ahmed succeeds uh, to become the president of the country, he would get a position, and that is the way politics has been played in Nigeria. You know, when you see a, somebody that uh, has a bright, um, a bright um, opportunity to win, you know, you pitch your tent with a person, make contributions, support the person, sing the praises of the person loud and almost everywhere. So that eventually, if the person finally wins, you know, you get some settlements, you know, you get some position in form of settlements, contracts, and what have you. That is how African politics, Nigerian politics, has actually been run. And it is, it seems it is continue, continuing. It's no longer based on um, competence. It's no longer based on capacity building. It's no longer based on intellect and uh, intellectual um, um, um um, intellectual knowledge. It's no longer based on on record and history of uh, what you have achieved or what you can do or what you have done in the past. All this, you know, has to be the basis for which you can support somebody and sing praises of somebody and also pitch such a person for the high office of the president of a nation. It's not just uh, the issue of uh, being uh, from a particular tribe. At this point in this country, we don't need tribe. We shouldn't be talking about tribe. We should be talking about competence. We should be talking about um, one spirit, one soul, one mind. We should be talking about um, one citizen. You know, that is what we should be talking about. Not tribe, not culture, not all these things that this um, Asimaju Janaku is saying. For me, I don't buy the idea and it doesn't make sense. 2023 should be all about Nigeria, should be all about the citizens, should be all about how well everybody that is a Nigerian will benefit from Nigeria and would, uh, would, would, would have a right to free education, have a right to good roads, have a right to good fr uh, infrastructure, have a right to everything that a normal human being and uh, uh, a normal person should have a right to. This is what should be preached and not singing praises of somebody who has amassed wealth and, and, and stolen from the, from, from the people and from the citizens, you know, and amassed wealth from himself. And uh, somebody who um, even the government cannot investigate or have refused to investigate because uh, of his allies and uh, what he stands for and what they stand to gain from him. So uh, for me, this is, doesn't make sense. If Bola Ahmed Tinubu comes out to run for presidency in 2023, he's going to fail woefully. He's definitely going to fail woefully. I believe that. I'm not God, but I believe he's definitely going, going to fail. So they should go back to the drawing board and know what they are doing. Well, this is my opinion. I'd like to hear from you what your thoughts are. Thank you.